what's going on everybody it's bulls nation station back at it again with another one and the bulls have beat the denver nuggets we got our first preseason win the bulls look pretty good and yeah it was a few changes to the lineup that everybody noticed leading into our victory and i'm gonna get into that a little bit but before i do i want you guys to subscribe to my page as i keep you guys updated with the bulls content the bulls rumors the bulls gossip the bulls news and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get into it and so heading into the game you know everybody's excited as you guys know we lost to the pelicans last game and we didn't really look that good and so heading into this game we were wondering what would be different how would the bulls improve into this upcoming game to where they can look better and do whatever it takes to win the game and while this is still preseason we showed a lot of good signs that i feel can hand into the regular season and yeah i'm gonna get into that and so the big news coming into the game was that it was a change in the starting lineup patrick williams was no longer starting at least for this game and actually it was javante green that was starting so they put javante green into the lineup while patrick williams came off the bench and it was interesting to see and actually you know with the starting lineup they actually came out and looked pretty good you know there's a lot more space a lot more ball movement a lot more cutting the chemistry just looked like it seemed to fit a lot better and you know javante green he played an excellent game you know javante green he scored 15 points he had five rebounds two assists and he shot three for three from the three-point line i mean he's been shooting lights out from the three and hopefully he can carry that into the season but is there a chance javante green might fit better with the starters you know patrick williams he came off the bench you know he also had 11 points he played pretty good he played more active and he played more confident of himself actually he hit uh four for six from the field hit one three two for two from the free throw line and he had a nice block and so he just seemed to feel way more comfortable with the bench you know compared to playing with the likes of a demar and zach where he's trying to figure out how do i impact this floor offensively and you know defensively it just seems like things work better around him you have two savvy vets that's well in the past in Alex Caruso and Goran Dragic and you have you know Kobe White as a space to floor type of shooter and so is this our new look bench you know when the bench came in they actually looked pretty good you know Goran Dragic he played way more aggressive today you know he looked way more confident and sure of himself he hit some nice shots he had some nice step backs and he was pushing the pace a lot more and he looked like the Goran Dragic of old, you know, pushing that ball up the court. And Caruso, he was very active on defense. He had some steals. He had a nice block and he was already attacking the rim, trying to dunk on somebody. So I feel like this group, you know, this group put together might be able to spare DeMar DeRozan some minutes, might be able to spare Zach Levine some minutes you know this group actually looked pretty good and then Kobe White when he's aggressive you know that's a pretty solid and well-balanced backup bench coming off the bench and then I didn't even mention Andre Drummond when he come came in he played a lot better you know he was way more active on the board getting put base getting offensive rebounds had some nice dunks he even was protecting the rim and had a nice block on a Jeff Green dunk attempt and you know that's the type of Andre Drummond that we need for our team you know just to come in and protect the paint and yeah I feel like this bench could be really good you know back in the Tibbs days there were times where he would run a full five-man bench in because they were playing so well together and I feel like when healthy this five-man unit might have the potential to run and so there was a, there was a lot of uproar after the game saying how did Patrick Williams take it? Was he mad that he got demoted to the bench? And you know, Billy Donovan said, first off, this is the preseason. I'm just trying out different lineups. This this might not even be the set lineup heading to the start of the regular season. And, you know, Patrick Williams, when he was asked, he was like, hey, I'm fine with it. He says, you know, at the end of the day, my goal is to help the team win. And if this is the best thing, then I'm perf perfectly fine. You know, shout out to Patrick Williams, you know, character. He's not the type with the huge ego. He's very humble. And yeah, he was okay with, you know, 
playing off the bench he still got enough minutes he still got really good minutes you know coming in he just didn't start the game and that might be you know where he's at right now just let him play in a lineup to where he can develop his offense and attack more because with the lineup with Caruso, Dragic, and Kobe and Drummond he'll have better chances and better opportunity to score to score the ball that might be exactly what he needs that might be great for his confidence to bring that impact off the bench you know Javante Green he's that plug-in player where he's energy and hustle you know he could fill in for the spots that DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine don't want to do all the extra things as far as diving for the ball you know all the energy run up and down the court he might balance out the floor better with the starters than the Patrick Williams who's you know a different type of player you know they just have two different type of motors so yeah I personally like this backup lineup do I feel Patrick Williams should eventually get back in the starting lineup yes but as of right now yeah this lineup might be pretty good and then you know you throw in the Dar- Dalen Terry in certain occasions also so yeah how did you guys feel about this backup unit do you guys feel like this might be the backup lineup heading into the season you know comment down below and yeah i'm gonna holler at you guys later and i'm out